rivals on the football field, brothers on the battlefield. Roger Staubach, the humble kid from Cincinnati, had a legendary career at Navy. Winning the Heisman as a junior, he was drafted by the Dallas Cowboys. But football would wait. He volunteered for Vietnam, arriving in country in 1966. He served in Da Nang and then Chu Lai, quarterbacking a 120-member team. The team handled ammunition and supplies for U.S. Marines fighting in South Vietnam. When his service was complete in 1969, the 27-year-old reported for his rookie season with the Cowboys. He quarterbacked America's team for a decade, never had a losing season. The Cowboys played in five Super Bowls and Captain America commanded four of them. In fourth quarters, when his team was down, he was at his peak. 23 times the father of the Hail Mary engineered comeback victories. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1985, the first year he was eligible. There are two ways to measure a winner. How he performs his job and, more importantly, how he performs as a human being. Roger Staubach is an all-pro in both categories. But if there is a Hall of Fame for people, they better save a spot for him there, too. Number 20, Rocky Blyer. Rocky Blyer was a standout at Notre Dame, a member of the 1966 National Championship team and captain in 1967. In 1968, he was drafted twice, first by the Pittsburgh Steelers, then by the United States Army for combat duty in Vietnam. On a rescue mission, he was hit by a bullet and then a grenade. Told by doctors he couldn't play again, Rocky Blyer had a different mission in mind. He fought back, returned to the Steelers, and went on to play in 150 regular season games and four Super Bowls. We live in a country where we make role models, surrogate parents in many cases, of athletic heroes. And very few of them deserve that kind of adulation. But this is an authentic American hero. Number 20, Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh sure, Franco Harris was great. But without the blocking of Rocky Blyer, Harris was nothing, and the whole damn team knew it. Today, Roger Staubach and Rocky Blyer come together, not as rivals, but as comrades, to say thank you to our Vietnam veterans and those now serving.